Here we have a 2009 Seat XO Saloon in silver, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, you're looking at easily a good 4 to 5 millimetres there. Looking at the offside front alloy, taking a good look at the condition. Very minor little curb mark on the outside edge of the alloy there. Looking around there, I see alloy got a little bit of lack of peel, a little bit of a scuff mark there as well. So a potential refurb may be required. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the body. One or two light dinks, no sign to any dents though. Around the offside front arch, of course, just a couple of light scratches will need a bit of a polish. Um, you've got a light scuff mark on the mirror there, but may require a bit of a smart repair. Some of it has taken the paint off. Driver's door itself, again, a couple of light bodywork scratches will require a good polish. Just a couple of touchings down the door edge of the vehicle as well. A couple of light scratches around the door handle. Door sill, that's fine. Again, nothing really to report on the roof. That appears to be okay. Rear door, again, some light bodywork scratches need a polish. Door edge looks fine. A couple of light scratches around the rear arch. Rear quarter looks good. Rear tyre, we're looking at about 3mm at the most. And looking at the rear alloy, taking a good look at the condition here. Very clean with no sign of any curbing or scuff marks at all there. Moving towards the rear ends of the vehicle. Looking on the back, as you can see, we've got rear parking sensors. A couple of scratches on the back of the vehicle. No signs of any damage. Near side rear quarter, all looks fine. A couple of touchings on the back here again some scratches again we'll need a polish and um, top of the boot is fine inside the boot itself lovely clean condition as you can see and underneath your tray you've got your spare wheel in there as well so that's all in good condition near side rear tyre again about three millimeters of tread looking on the rear alloy again taking a good look at the condition no real sign of any curbing or scuffs there and looking down at the near side of the body, once again one or two small dinks, no signs, very dense. Some light scratches to the paintwork, rear door edge is fine, front door edge is fine. And again, like I said, just a couple of scratches on both doors, we'll need a polish. Uh, mirror needs a bit of a polish, front tire edge is fine, and a good 4mm there on the front tire. Looking at the front alloy, again some minor little marks as you can see, nothing really heavy. Uh, a bit of a curb mark there. And again, a curved mark to the top of the alloy as well. So, again, potential refurb. We run the front of the vehicle. We've got a couple of stone chips on the front here. Um, so, a couple of touchings needed. No sign to any damage at all there. And a couple of stone chips on the bonnet of the car. Taking a look at the interior. Inside, you've got the full cloth interior. As you can see, it's in a lovely clean condition. There's no signs of any damage, any stains or marks in the back seats. Rear of the seats are fine as well, so that's all in good order. Taking a look at your driver's seat. Again, lovely clean condition with no signs of any damage. So it's all in good order there. Front passenger seat is exactly the same. Dashboard sensor console's all fine, there's no scratches or marks. Steering wheel and gear stick aren't in bad condition at all for its age. And as you can see, it's a nice looking car. Stepping inside the vehicle itself, now we do have Two sets of keys with the car, as you can see on the video there, so two keys. And looking at the dash whilst I start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car. 66,469 miles on the clock with no symbols at all appearing on the dash. Multifunction function steering wheel, CD and radio. No issues there. Blowers work perfectly fine. You've got your air conditioning there as well. So again, that's all in good work, uh, working order. Basically, this is an Audi A4 really. Uh, looks exactly the same uh, as an Audi A4 inside. Manual box, of course. Taking a look at the uh, paperwork, V5. Looking at two owners on the vehicle. Does come with an MOT, which expiry date here of 11th of November 2016. So there's a good year's MOT, pretty much. And service history. Um, we've got one there at 36,000, uh, 51,000 there, 60,000, 66,000. As you can see, it's been very recently done with the service. Um, oil, air filter, uh, I thought that said cam belt, but it doesn't look like it actually. Um, there we go. There we have it, guys. That's the 2009 CX XO slash Audi A4. Um, again, it's a lovely looking car to be fair for its age, 
not bad mileage. It's very clean with just a couple of cosmetic marks on the exterior.